Over the past year, I started webcamming with girls that lived in Vegas. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this isn't a bad life. There's mm-hmm. more to, you know, it's not just so you were introduced 24 to, hour video poker at right. a gas station. So you were introduced to a different part of Vegas by going out to Vegas and, and working with other girls yes. at their homes. And so you saw how other people lived in Vegas besides like the people live on the strip. Exactly. Right. Okay. Instead of just going into shoot or staying on the strip and right. doing like the whole, right, 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 you know, right. yeah, AVN, yeah, yeah. Yeah. EDI awards. Like yeah. those were always really fun too. Right. But, um, yeah, doing – so I did some mushrooms. But I really want to do peyote. Yeah. If anyone out there has any kind Have of shaman – Have you ever thought about doing ayahuasca? Okay. I – there is no level of enlightenment that I need that causes me to be puking and shitting for 24 hours. <laughs> and I've heard <laughs> I that is what – goes on I knew you're and you're not allowed to be around your friends and like everyone's just on there like I don't need that level of enlightenment (laughs) that's too much enlightenment for you dude like come on like I just wanted a few hours when I heard that like you wear all white and like what shit yourself I was like what okay apparently you don't necessarily shit yourself but you have to shit a lot so what shit uh, like you don't I mean, you guess you could shit yourself, but it's not like everybody's just shit right. themselves. <laughs> like yeah. there, like there's toilets and like there's buckets to throw up in. But everyone I've spoken to who's done it says it's been an amazing experience. But right. it's not for me either. Yeah, the I mean, like ayahuasca, uh, um, peyote. I heard it fills you with a lot more compassion. Mm. Like, and that's always my goal is to just sort of like understand like how fulfilling it is to be a giving person right. than a taking person and yes. just sort of be conscious of other people's comfort level throughout all aspects of life. I remember I watched a documentary on on peyote and this Native American shaman set up a teepee and he's like, I want to share this with white people. Like, I'm, you're not my enemy. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, I actually had done an experience of peyote where I ate so much, I actually found compassion for the Spanish. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, that's wow. what level I'm trying to get to. But it definitely doesn't, I don't want to be like out for a day or two. Like yeah. I got shit to do. And like <laughs> I can take mo- whatever I learned from mushrooms, I can take, yeah, you know, yeah. with me. But right. yeah, no, Vegas is, uh, to me, it was just a different kind of trashy. Like I'm from the beach, in Long Beach in Southern California, mm-hmm. where it's like a specific type of trashy. Right. That I'm very, like a sublime 90s kind of alternative trashy that right. I'm really, like grew up with and I'm really comfortable with. Right. This is like 24-hour tweaker video poker. Trashy. Yeah. But and- but yeah, going and seeing like how the other women were living in the industry, I was like, this is like totally great and i want to buy my first house so let's make it happen my and mom actually came God, out lord knows nobody can buy a house in la <laughs> my mom actually came out to vegas for avian she's been with me for a couple of avians actually mm-hmm. because that is the best part of my job right yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, the yeah, most yeah. glamorous she loves it she's single has been for my dad since my like my mid-20s so mm-hmm. she's enjoys the hell out of it she likes the attention she just thinks it's so cool and fun so the next day our plan was to start looking for a new place and Mm -hmm. so we closed like in july and then i had a tenant living the the tenant stayed there till august it's been wonderful wow so this is your first home i assume that you yes is it like do you feel so grown up now being like a homeowner no i kind of feel a little bit more like um like my wheels are spinning constantly like this is what i want to do here this is what i want to do here and uh, like i'll admit this guy that i was in the relationship with he helped me put this house together. Mm -hmm. So coming home from the trips like Exotica and be coming home to an empty house and I don't have anyone to talk to. And that was a difficult adjustment. Mm -hmm. And then um, getting the flight alerts that my flight to Costa Rica was taking off in 24 hours. That's heartbreaking. That's the worst. You're like, oh yeah, that trip that I got dumped so I can't go on. (laughs) Awesome. Well, I think ultimately now you need to go to Costa Rica either by yourself and have an amazing time or go like with a friend. Like yeah. you need to like readjust your yeah. um your experience with Costa Rica because you don't want it to always be associated with like that guy. You that's important because I had a I also had like not that I'm comparing Costa Rica to a planner, but I had this day planner that we filled out like together with like all his trips, like up until like New Year's Mm -hmm. that we were supposed to be like on each coast or whatever. And I was like, for about a month, I was like, I'm burning that planner. (laughs) And then and then eventually I picked it up and I started writing in it. And now it's my planner again. Yeah. 
Like that's a heal. That's a, like what I noticed. I'm healing. Like don't right. try to like brush that shit under the rug and burn the planner. Right. Pick up the planner, face it, make see it how own. you feel, and own it again. Yeah. Make it so I'm own. owning my love because that's a beautiful thing to have un- unconditional love that you can give to someone else. Yes. He's not capable of that. No. And that's too bad, but it's yeah. not my problem. No, it's not. And you you're know? gonna find somebody amazing because you are amazing. Uh, my might be going back into hibernation off camera for a few more years but yeah like hopefully (laughs) that's the goal hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon at my patreon i offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support from live streams of my interviews as they are happening to bonus q a's behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots plus cool merch like stickers mugs and hoodies we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. And while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.